So this is the interior of the uh, injector pump after having removed the top cover. You can see here the, uh, the governor with the weights on it and this is the plunger that adjusts the fuel and it was stuck quite clearly. You couldn't move it as easily as this. In fact, it took a bit of a screwdriver and a bit of a uh, um, force and then some WD-40 to free it up and then refilled with diesel and it seems to be quite happy now. So this is the throttle control here, the various other um, adjustments. That's that uh, bolt that's on the outside. This is the spring that pulls back to the, um, to the cold start. So anyway, that is uh, clearly uh, better and I fully expect this uh, to work. So the other interesting thing to note is this is the governor spring assembly which people modify um, to get greater fuel. They put some spacers in the middle section here and uh, compress uh, that uh, bottom spring so that it delivers more fuel and you get more get up and go. The interesting thing is is that if you read the literature you'll find that this top piece here is where the idle spring goes and this one does not have an idle spring. Seems that Volkswagen um, changed his mind somewhere along the road and didn't uh, put that spring in. Um, this isn't the only one that doesn't have them. Um, and maybe they just thought it was surplus. But um, I got sidetracked for a bit thinking that this spring was missing. But the uh, literature on the internet indicates that um, it's not necessarily required. And when you think about it, the spring that comes back from here actually pulls that back in. Because this, of course, sits in here. Um, let me just get that in. That's how it sits. And so the throttle pulls that... Oop. And so the throttle pulls that back and forth um, as it rotates. And uh, if it's fully that way, it's... Um, it bangs up against the um, housing and uh, that spring would give it a little tiny bit of extra push away but I think that that would be affected here um, by this adjustment more than it would be by a little spring that's back there so uh, I'm not going to put a spring in there because it's obviously worked for 250,000 kilometers already without that spring and it doesn't appear to me that it's been modified or taken apart by somebody prior to me so um, I do believe that was my problem, and um, so a um, little bit of information to share, and hopefully that helps somebody else on, somewhere else along the road. So we're going to put this back together, so you have to kind of set that aside, hook the spring back onto here, run that up through the top of the housing, and uh, we should be good to go. Thanks for watching. <laughs>So we got the injector pump put back together um, after uh, unsticking it. So we got the fuel solenoid turned on. We got a little bit of glow plug. And we'll start. That's uh, clearly better. The throttle's not quite as active as I would think. Well, that seems to be significantly better than the high idle runaway we had. Um, the throttle doesn't seem to... Th uh, ramp all the way up but um, maybe I need to adjust it. But that's good news.